Hello lads and lasses, TRC Plays here and I'm going to be talking about yet another Soviet ship since it's mostly the Soviets that I play we're going to be taking a look at the tier 5 Imperial Russian battleship Ismail Imperial Russian, this thing was barely ever Soviet the Ismail is a Bordino class battlecruiser that actually existed what a shocker there, pretty much nobody knows that this thing existed and uh, the ships were named after battles fought by the Russian Empire no surprise there. Um, uh, the uh, Ismail's namesake was after the siege of Ismail, which is uh, Ismail in itself as a city in Ukraine. Borodino, the Battle of Borodino against Napoleon. Kinburn, the Battle of Kinburn. And Navarin, the Battle of Navarino, which was, I believe, the last wooden ship engagement. And uh, Ismail, unfortunately, wasn't completed because, well, so the Soviets happened and uh, the Soviets really wanted to experiment with them and uh, one of the experiments was to convert Ismail which was the one ship that was the closest to completion into an aircraft carrier yes this thing would have been an aircraft carrier I hear you taking no down notes wargaming and unfortunately the project never went anywhere and all of them were sold for scrap that was pretty much the short-lived history of Ismail. Now we're going to be taking a look at the commander, Mikhail Kedrov. This is a must for all your Russian battleships. Now, inspirations, again, Otto Siliax and Andrew Cunningham. Andrew Cunningham for the shell grouping, Siliax for the AP shell damage. Now, um, his base trait, which is Vicious Circle, increases main battery traverse speed of your battleship which would be very effective because Russian battleship turrets turn really slow and especially with Ismail's busted turret setup. We have uh, not one for the nuisance, reduces the risk of catching fire or flooding, crisscross, which increases main battery traverse speed. Again, this is a must. Don't go for porcupine. You're not a German battleship. Th these turrets turn slower than pretty much um, the growth of the Russian economy. Very goddamn slow. So, go for crisscross, don't go for porcupine. Then we have collective labor, which increases the duration of damage control party and receive an extra consumable charge. Very useful because they are very limited. Because, again, damage control party is limited for the Russian battleships, not for the Russian Navy per se. The destroyers and the cruisers have an infinite damage control party, the Russians do not. Master mechanic for the repair party reload time and the amount of HP recovered. Also, repair party charges and then you get will to rebuild which increases HP regeneration rate when repair party is active so this is pretty much the go-to setup for your Russian battleships again this build was given to me by the boat boys gaming he's a cool guy he helped me out with most of my builds so I recommend going on to his channel subscribe help him out He's an alright guy. And now we're going to be talking about the upgrades. Now Ismail has good dispersion, which is why I recommend aiming systems. Dispersion of main battery, crucial. And uh, also the accuracy, which is why you go for uh, aiming systems rather than main battery mode, which also increases reload and Russian battleships have a very slow reload. Don't go for secondary battery because, again, you're not a German battleship. And, go, of course, you can go for secondary battery firing range and dispersion of secondary battery. Aiming systems is a go-to. Because, again, you can brawl with these. You, I'm not saying you can't brawl, but the problem is... We'll talk about that in the armor. Now, let's talk about the steering gears mod. You can go for propulsion, but why would you risk getting smacked with torps when the steering gears would be more effective because of that rudder shift time. Russian ships tend to turn like bricks unless you're playing the DDs. So steering gears mod 2, very crucial, very very crucial. And let's talk about the main problem with Ismail, the armor. Armor wise Ismail is a tank, not as tanky as Sinop though. But there is a problem with Ismail, 
and it's a major one and that is the gargantuan citadel if anything looks at this broadside it will get deleted if you meet a ship like a west virginia a california war spite anything that sees this broadside your ship will pretty much be sent to davy jones locker faster than the black pearl did in pirates of the caribbean and while we're at it let's talk about ismail's busted turret setup one turret facing the front and also you have three turrets facing the stern i don't have a problem with the setup per se you have more creativity in terms of angling the problem is the traverse speed which is very slow for russian battleships hence why you'd go for kedrov and the build i showed later so again turrets weird placement I, but again i'm not i'm not surprised at this point the russians did make very weird turret placement decisions mm -hmm. looking at you poltava and even going as far as gangut which has the most busted turret setup of any battleship i've ever seen and and i forgot to mention one thing this isn't what Ismail was supposed to look like. Ismail was supposed to look like Gangut, i.e. Imperial Russian without uh, hideous Soviet superstructure. It was actually just supposed to look like Gangut's original superstructure. So, uh, pretty much Ismail is a monster at tier 5 if you know how to play it. And one more thing, you, can't, you literally can't get HE spammed in this thing. Look at the superstructure. That, that's that, that's Ismail's superstructure right there. It, li it literally has none. Oh, and uh, we'll talk about something here with the Ismail while we're at it. Um, uh, you see that thing right there on uh, the uh, sea turret? Yeah, that's a catapult. You know what the funny thing is? Go on to the loadout. What's this? You can't add a fighter nor a spotter. Then why add a catapult? Well, I don't know. So, enhanced secondary targeting is um, it's a must for Ismail. Because what else is there? Again, standard repair party and damage control party, except damage control party is limited. And the shell types are HE and AP, because of course they are. 33 second reload time, again, the Russians have a very long reload, which is why you should stick with the Kedrov build. If you want, you can, you can use Paolo di Revel. I mostly like my armor piercing to be effective. HE, 38%, another fire monkey. Great for setting fires, just like the British battleships, but not as good as the British battleships. And heavy hitting armor piercing, which is what makes Ismail such an attraction. And that's pretty much it for Ismail, being one of the few ships that the Soviets built and one of the few almost successful carrier conversions had they decided to give up on the project and scrap it entirely. So, Ismail, I recommend it. If you grind the Soviet battleship line, Ismail would be either a blessing or a curse. To me, it was a blessing. Would it be the best tier 5 BB? Not really. And there's a reason for that. Bayern... Queen Elizabeth, they do the job better. But if you want something that's fun and at least challenging to play, go for Ismail. Again, huge shout out to the Boat Boys Gaming for helping me out with the build, as always. And I will show you the gameplay right now. And that's all I have to say for the day. Good luck, and I'll see you on the high seas.
тревога. Пожарная тревога. Пробойно. Набираем воду. Неполадки устранены. Внимание! Спецкурс сил на защите базы. 